You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. Hey, yo, what up, y'all? This is America's favorite print, Charlie Vegas, of course. And right now, I'm hanging at the round table with Lenny S. Maya V. Big Life on Rock Me TV. Who strength that screen? Yeah, once again, we back. You're, you're fly as yeah. ever. It's the round table, baby. New York City's illest. Big up, up the my man, up to my man Shampoo. The gems in the building, you heard? Definitely in the house. Bubbling up. We got one of the, uh, you know, you already know what it is, man. You're from New York City. You know what it is. My man Ali Vegas is in the building. Ali Vegas, come out, kid. Let him know Knock what them is. doors down. All right, yeah. yeah. So talk about. I think it's one of one of one of the right. pop's most slept on MCs. So what's going on, man? Mic check good. Yeah, everything good. Everything good. Looking good. Shining. <laughs> Looking crazy. It's been a long time, man. Been a while. Come on, let's go. We gotta start back. I know you're probably tired of doing shit like this, but you know we got 1.4 million viewers. You know what I'm saying? They want to know. Okay, I'll leave Vegas. Tell um, us what it is. 12 years old. Got my first deal. Signed track masters Columbia. Um, and that's major. Yeah. That's what's then. That's what track masters was booming. Yeah, Columbia was a real era. It was the nineties. Mm -hmm. They was throwing money around too, Jack. Yeah, that's when it was real. How'd you even acquire the deal? You twelve years old. How you go and get it? Um, well, um, an artist, an artist from my neighborhood. You know, I grew up in the same town as you know, Lost Boys, mm -hmm. um, Southside, all day. You know okay. what I mean? So Panama Pi, he introduced me to to um Damian Blyden, Do. Mm -hmm. Do brought me up to track masters. Okay. At the time, Kid Capri was dropping the um, Kid Capri was dropping the beat off. That it was for Nas, but it turned out to be his like that um, Jay Z beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pope just told me he was like, "Yo, spit," and then I just spit, and they was so the, calling what, my mom. What ended up happening with that deal? Um, what happened was Trackmasters they got released from Columbia. Okay, okay. And, and that's what Tommy and Diana sat me down in the office, said we could reconstruct your deal, or or you can walk however you want to do it. And I'm like, I came in the door with them, so I'm going to leave with them. Yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. Loyalty is everything. So after that, what did you do from there? Like, what was next for you? Well, I was just, you know, traveling, enjoying, you know, enjoying life, you know. Um, but you was doing shows? Yeah, I still was doing, you know, shows, still doing my art. Because, you know, I love music, so I still was doing the music. Um, then... Tommy Matola called me again. You know what I mean? Tommy called me. Cause I he was, was still he was court. still at Sony then? Nah, he was planning on leaving. This one he was planning, he was leaving. You know what I mean? He was making his transaction. Mm -hmm. And he called me, he was like, yo, um, I always admire your loyalty. So he was like, I want you to um I'm gonna fly you down here. I want you to come to Miami, sit with me on my boat and talk some business because okay. I'm about to make this move. Oh, that's big win. So you talking about Corey Rooney too, right? Yeah, Corey Rooney. I was working with Corey Rooney and okay. then Tommy was like I want, you know what I mean? So when I got out to Miami, we sat on this boat. He told me what he wanted to do. And then I let him know my views and just let him know that it got to be done right. Mm -hmm. If it's not done right. What I'm was going. the first time you could um, release something commercially? That was on the Into Deep soundtrack, the Into right? Into Deep soundtrack. That was yeah. a hot joint. The Specialist. Yeah, you know Specialist I mean? joint. So yeah, then, but this joint right here, this is actually your debut, debut album, Debut album. Right? First joint. Yeah. I mean, you've been doing anything for a while. You've been doing mixtapes, been rhyming. Been Bringing it to you know what I mean, niggas heads, yeah. but here's your day. What's the name of the album? Generation, Generation Gap Two. Yeah. How come? Um, cause I think it's a it's a big gap between the students and the teachers of rap nowadays. You know, the, the mm -hmm. teachers. You know, I had the opportunity being that I'm from both eras. You know, I get to sit around the teachers and hear their discrepancies with the game, and then at the same time. I grew with the students, so I get to hear their discrepancies. Like, I sat with Primo, mm -hmm. you know, Dougie Fresh, Dana Dane. Like, I sat with them, and I just hear it. So I just was like, the teachers think that the students don't respect them, show them enough respect, you mm -hmm. know, and the students feel like the teachers hold the baton too long, you know? Okay. Well, you know, you still look mad young, so I guess that states coming in the game so young was a blessing for you because you're mad mature now. But yet the kids, you look like them. Yeah. So they can identify with him. Cause, exactly. Yeah, because you know it, I mean? it was all part of, see, I got a huge understanding on life. It was all part of God's plan. You know, at that time, he didn't he didn't give me a, a deal to come out. He got me a deal so that way my career was starting in a real era. You know what I mean? One of the realest eras. So I just 
he brought me out there just to get my credibility because he knew that wet. he would need me later on today. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. We're gonna pay some bills and when we come back, that's right. actually Light is a big fan of uh, uh, sports no, fans. That's right. He's, 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 part, he's partners with uh, Lamar Odom, basketball player. So we're gonna come back and talk about. I know, that. I know Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> big up, we the I'm round table. in the building. You know? Straight that screen, generation gap. Lenny, yes, big light. You wanna fight? Hey, yo, what up, y'all? This is America's favorite print, Charlie Vegas, of course. And right now, I'm hanging at the round table with Lenny S., Maya B., Big Light, on Rock Me TV. Full strength, that screen. You are now at the round table with Lenny S., Maya the Brazilianaire, and Big Light. Okay, everybody, on with the show! Take a seat and tune in.